the four last things death judgment hell heaven by father martin von koken read by john brandon section four on the fear of hell death is rendered yet more bitter to us by the fear of hell and the clear view of eternity before us for when we are dangerously ill and death stares us in the face the terror that fills us at the prospect of eternity is so overwhelming that we are filled with fear for we see plainly that in a few days a few hours perhaps we must enter eternity and we know not what awaits us there the dread lest we should be lost everlastingly is so great as to cause us to shudder moreover the alarm that tortures us is not a little augmented by the remembrance of the sins whereby we have oftentimes deserved hell for no man can be certain whether he has done penance or right and whether he has really obtained pardon this is explained by a passage from the writings of the aforementioned pope st gregory who describes this fear in the following words the just man who is truly concerned about his eternal salvation will from time to time think of his future judge he will meditate before death overtakes him upon the account he will have to give of his life if there are no great sins wherewith his conscience reproaches him he still has cause for alarm on account of the daily sins of which he perhaps takes little heed for how often do we not sin in thought it is comparatively easy to avoid evil deeds but it is a far more difficult matter to keep one's heart free from inordinate thoughts yet we read in holy scripture woe to you that devise that which is unprofitable and work evil in your thoughts micaeus chapter two verse one and again in your heart you work iniquities psalm seventeen verse three hence the just are ever in fear of the awful judgments of god for they are conscious that all these secret sins will be brought to judgment as saint paul says in that day god shall judge the secrets of men romans two sixteen and although all his life long a good man will walk in fear of the judgment yet this fear will notably increase as he draws near to the end of his days it is said of our lord that when the time of his death approached he began to be sorrowful and to fear and being in agony he prayed the longer was not this intended to teach us how it would be with us in our latter end and what distress and anguish would overwhelm us such are the words of pope saint gregory calculated to inspire not only sinners but also the just with fear since as the saint says even those who are not conscious of having committed any grievous sins are yet full of apprehension in regard to the sentence that will be passed on them if the just are not devoid of alarm what can we poor sinners do we know ourselves to be guilty of many and manifold transgressions and who every day adds sin to sin what will become of us what can we do is there no means we can employ to obtain mercy of god i know no better counsel than that which christ himself gives us in the words watch ye therefore praying at all time that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that are to come and to stand before the son of man luke chapter 21 verse 36 since christ points out to us prayer as the best and easiest means let each one faithfully follow this exhortation and diligently call upon almighty god and his blessed mother and all the saints imploring them day by day to protect him and commending to them his latter end.